dog barks at babysitter, so mom installs hidden camera. But before we start, please take a moment to give this video a like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you'll never miss these great stories. Dogs are known for sometimes exhibiting strange behavior during storms and even during supernatural activity. But Killian acted way stranger in front of the family babysitter. It was almost like a horror movie. Something wasn't right and the family knew it. They had to be quick and shrewd in order to get the truth. When it came time to play back the audio, what they found made them call the authorities. Hope Jordan and Benjamin Jordan were a typical couple. After getting married, they felt they were finally happy in a happy place in South Carolina. They had two other members of the family, their sweet seven-month-old son Finn and their local canine, Killian. They felt they couldn't be happier, but while they were keeping their dream alive by working hard, the family was unaware of what sinister things were going on in their house. Both parents were working very committed jobs, so they decided it was time they got a babysitter for young Finn while they couldn't be at home. They thoroughly looked into Alexi Khan before hiring her. When they found nothing, they decided she suited them perfectly. They should have checked to see how Killian reacted around her. The family dog Killian was a very sweet companion. Most notable was how good he was with their son. He just made them so happy to have him. He was a sweet but definitely not heroic pup, so he was never put on guard duty. Killian was the perfect playmate for young Finn, but they didn't know that soon he would start acting extremely out of character. His personality took a sharp turn. One night, Benjamin was confronted by their sitter. Alexis said that she would quit if they didn't do something about their dog. Apparently, as soon as they would leave her alone with Finn and Killian, their pet would start growling at her. He would also get in her way while she was attempting to look after Finn. I'm scared of that dog, she exclaimed, and what about Finn's safety? Benjamin and Hope didn't know what to say. They were so surprised. Benjamin attempted to dispel his doubt. Killian had never given him any reason to worry about Finn's safety around him. He was only sweet to Finn. He would never, he said under his breath. After imagining the worst, Benjamin told himself it was all nonsense. But after Alexis complained about Killian more and more, he knew that if it wasn't the dog that was the problem, then what about the sitter? After speaking to other dog owners, he was told that it was probably just the way Killian acted in front of people he didn't know. But why would this only have developed now? Maybe Killian was envious of their child. Finn never seemed to have a problem with the other family pet though. As a matter of fact, Finn was more secluded in recent days. What could it be that the parents just weren't noticing? A few months passed and the situation escalated beyond control. Alexis said nowadays their dog would become frantic and try to attack her if she did as little as moved. The Jordans couldn't take the 22-year-old's word for it. They couldn't even see it firsthand. But with their babysitter complaining so much, they had to figure out what the problem was. This is when they thought about an idea that had never crossed their minds before now. It was a last resort. The Jordans didn't want to have to go find another sitter on such short notice. Before this, Alexis seemed perfect, so they thought maybe keeping Killian separate from their sitter could be a good plan. But after running this idea by Hope, she had another idea. If their pet would only go nuts in front of Alexis when they weren't around, maybe Killian wasn't the one in the wrong? Maybe Killian was trying to tell them something about Alexis. Hope gave the situation more and more thought. The more time she spent looking at the situation, the more it didn't make sense. Before Alexis, Killian had always been well-trained and had never shown aggression, even as a puppy. The only thing Killian had shown for their family was concern and protectiveness, especially with their baby Finn. It was Alexis the one not being honest. 
Hope suggested they hide an iPhone under the couch to see if they could shed some light on the situation. Because when it came down to it, they trusted Killian with their child and never saw him as a threat. But Benjamin had a better idea that would allow the concerned parents to get to the bottom of what was going on in their home. Benjamin planned and built a tiny hearing device. The next morning, Hope carefully attached it to Killian's collar underneath his hair. This would allow them to listen to exactly what was going on. Hopefully, it would shed some light on what was triggering their normally placid dog while they were away during the day. That evening, Benjamin and Hope arrived back home from a long day at work. And as usual, Alexis immediately began to complain about Killian. Hope scooped Finn up and readied him for bed. Then, she detached the recording device from Killian's collar and sat down with her husband to listen to what it had recorded. But when they heard the playback, the horrified couple could only stare at each other in disbelief. The tape started with cussing, Benjamin said in his statement, but it only got worse. The couple could clearly hear Alexis shouting at Killian to get out while his growling intensified. Then they heard another sound that chilled them to the bone. Without a word, Benjamin picked up his phone and dialed the police. The recording revealed that Alexis had been cursing and screaming at the baby. The police listened to it attentively and sympathized with the Jordans, but they weren't sure an audio recording would hold up in court. Then Benjamin played them another part of the audio that sent chills down their spines. Is this really who they trusted to take care of their son? I wanted to reach through the audio, go back in time and just grab him up, said Benjamin through the tears. But now they knew what had been going on whenever they left the house. Something had to be done to stop it. Benjamin and Hope wanted to make sure that Alexis got exactly what she deserved. But the police were still worried the audio alone might not be enough to prosecute Alexis. Benjamin and Hope tried to build a stronger case, but in the end, there was only one thing they could do to stop the aggressive woman from doing this to another child. When a Charleston City police detective laid down the accusation, Alexis was quick to confess. She was sentenced to between one and three years in prison and forced to sign a register. This is fantastic news to us, Benjamin said, to know that maybe Finn's ordeal has possibly saved another child's life in the future. To know that for five months I'd handed my child to a monster, said Benjamin regretfully, had our dog not alerted us to the trouble, had my wife's instincts not said, we need to make something happen, he added, trailing off. He did not even want to think about what might have happened then. If background checks don't alert us to dangerous people, can we really rely on our dogs to warn us that we might be inviting evil into our homes? Killian certainly proved himself to the Jordan family. After the incident, local newspapers published the story, and it wasn't long before Killian was hailed a hero and he even made a few celebrity appearances. What a good dog.